All right, what's up? So everyone wanted the longer video, so here it is. Uh, Boosted Mini X. This is a V2 battery, uh, extended range. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on how to take this battery apart. Uh, easiest thing to do, you see these edges right here. Um, this is like some super strong uh, rubber glue uh, for the water seal. Um, get that off, I used a butter knife and a cheap cell phone kit, you know, the pry tool for that. Um, to get the actual battery out of this encasing, uh, you're going to notice real quick that these, these plates right here, this is metal, alright, this is not plastic, so you're going to, you're going to want to be like a little forceful when you take it out, I broke mine, this is metal right here, that's how I found out they were metal, but these... This is the only one that didn't break. Uh, it's being held in there by glue, just like everything else. And it goes in here, this slot right there. The thing is, getting something strong, uh, like a butter knife, and prying each one, uh, pulling each one out of these sockets. Um, once that is out, be real careful with these wires because they can pull off real quick. As you can see, this wire here uh, is hooked up to uh, the other side of the encasing. Uh, so you gotta kind of finagle the battery around. All right, so for the important part, once you get this out, you're gonna notice it has a film of protectant on it. All right. Um, you're going to have to remove it on this chip right here, uh, which is uh, just for reference. It's on the debug side. You see where it says debug right there? Uh, and then program. It's right next to the program. So as you can see, I've already removed the the film you kind of have to scratch it off a little bit once that's scratched off uh, you're gonna see those two contacts right there those are the two contacts that you want to short out so it would be right there That's one, and that's two. I know it's kind of hard to see, but make sure that you scrape it really, really, really good so that you can see the actual metal. Once you get all that, uh, uh, that layer of protection off, uh, start scraping at each individual contact uh, little by little with uh, one of these uh, tiny screwdrivers. Uh, that's what I'm using. Uh, this is from the dollar store. Nothing fancy. But what I did was I started scraping uh, little by little off of each contact right there, uh, one and two, until I was able to make a good short and then all you have to do is get your screwdriver, place it on there like so, press firmly down as hard as you can, making sure that both contacts touch. All right, once you do that, keep it on there, and you see this power button right there. While you're shorting it out, Press the button. Let go of the button. 
let go of the short. You're going to see that light go from being red to green. If it goes green, that means you cleared the chip and it's no longer a uh, red light of death. All right. If it didn't do it, it means you probably didn't scrape away enough at that at those contacts. So make sure that you can see the actual teeth, the actual contacts coming out. And make sure that you see metal from those. Make sure all that gunk is gone. And then try it again. So you press it down. Press the button. Wait a whole 10 Mississippis. If it turns green, wait a whole 10 Mississippis. Don't do anything. Leave it blinking. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. All the way to 10. Once you get to 10, then you'll be able to turn it off. And then when you turn it back on, it should not R-L-O-D. It should not have a red light of death. All right. Now, keep in mind. Most of the time, these red light of death because you either left it on two or three dots of charge in the back of your car for a couple of days, forgot about it, and then tried plugging it back in. Or you went uphill on a super hot day and then you hugged it in the back of your car with only one dot, tried charging it later and it wouldn't charge. That means you let the charge go down way too low uh, and it activated uh, the red light of death. All right. If that happened, I recommend you leave it plugged in for a whole two weeks. What I mean is you put the battery pack back in the enclosure. All right. Once you do that, make sure everything's plugged in correctly to your board. Plug in the battery pack. Leave it plugged in. Make sure that it's charging and Leave it charging for a whole two weeks. All right. Some people leave it charging longer. Some people leave it charging uh, for less time. But two weeks is about the time that's right in the middle of the sweet spot. That'll help trickle charge uh, the batteries that were damaged. The cells that were damaged. And uh, you have an eight or nine out of ten chance of... Uh, getting your battery back and being able to write again just make sure if you're not using it leave it plugged in all right these things every every so often you have to leave it plugged in uh for a couple of days to kind of let the cells balance themselves but just know that that red light of death came on for one reason or another and if it didn't happen for something simple like you not charging it fast enough or you letting it get too low and there's an actual problem with one of the cells you're gonna have to get your uh, multimeter out you're gonna have to test each cell individually until you find which one is bad and replace that cell that's the only way you're gonna stop getting the red light of death if there's a bad cell now if the cells are so so they're good and we do this little hack, this little trick, and we leave it charging for two weeks. You're good to go. Beam, bam, boom. You'll be sure in the NAR. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just make sure when you put it back together, um, if you know how to, reseal it with a waterproof sealant. If not, just seal it to the best of your abilities and Gorilla Tape that mug. Something. Just make sure that you reseal it because... Maybe water might not get in there, but moisture definitely will. So, yeah, just let me know what's up, dude. Remember, chips right here. Beep, 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 beep. And you got to short it out right there. And you got to be like... And then you got to be all like... And then you got to press that button. All right, later.